Ginny said at dinner at Ma Maison, where, of course, they were late because Ginny makes him stop and change a tire for somebody in the street or pick up a dog or go to the loony bin. You know, there's always something that Ginny finds for Bob to do and they're late because they've saved the world, right? Ginny, this is Newhart, uh, Ginny. Newhart's wife, right? That's great. So at dinner, Ginny said, because they were doing that show, and it was maybe in the second year. You know, it would be great at the end of the, whenever the end comes, if it was all a dream, and and I said, oh, poor Jean, they'd never let us. It would be like negating all the years of that show, however many years in. And a couple of times later, we said, well, it was great if, when it was the last year, the producers called me one day and they said, we're calling about, I said, I know what you're calling about. They said, you do? I said, it's all a dream. So I said, are they really gonna let you do this? They said, yeah. So we had a code name when I would call them back so it wouldn't be me. They wrote a fake ending where Bob is up to heaven and is with God. And the cast was trying to guess who was gonna play God. Oh, is it gonna be Rickles or, you know. They built the set in secret. The only one who knew was Dick Martin because he was directing. And of course, the people who built the set were figuring something out. They did not tell the cast until 20 minutes before we did it. And they hid me in a trailer for six hours with no phone. You don't do that to a woman like me. No shopping, no phone, what are you kidding? And we were so nervous because we couldn't rehearse. And uh, I said, Jesus, Bob, if that, if that light fixture isn't where it was in, you know, 19, whatever the last year was, 70, whatever, eight, eight I said, I'm gonna be wham banging on the wall till the lights come down. And just before we were in bed, you know, they put a coat over it, they came in, and Bob and I were holding hands and he said, wait for the laugh. And I said, what if there isn't a one? You know, and with that, I was under the covers and the screen went back and the audience saw the sheets. And, went, <gasps> and then he said whatever he says and I go, mm -hmm, well, who's gonna have a voice in this octave except me? And they went, <gasps> and then of course when I sat up, it was screaming, 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 screaming. And I knew it was a piece of television history. He knew it, we knew it. We were nervous, but I mean, we knew. And um, I was at the rap party afterwards, and it was so odd. I didn't belong there. It wasn't my show. I never wanted to make it tough for Mary Fran either, you know. People used to say, I'll go there and go read that and do this and do that, and I said, no, no. I wouldn't want anybody to do that to me. I'm not going to do it to her. And uh, so I left. I snuck, you know, they were all doing cutting cake and thing and thing, and I walked, I walked out because it wasn't my house, you know. 